Uh, right. Getting into this next one now. Oh, okay. So uh, I know that you have a lot of viewpoints yeah, in this one. I think I've seen this one before. I've seen Sharp have trouble with. Actually, I think it was. Once again, I think it was Futures. What was it? I think. No, Justices. It was Justices Justice, Minimum yeah. before. Gave Sharp trouble in this matchup, I believe. Um, but this matchup is definitely hard, but the, the more I played Mimmin, the less I think this matchup is like unwinnable. It's mostly just pressing buttons at the right times and recognizing when to just call out Sheik, especially because you can use Ram Ram to I mean, make Watt to be really obnoxious for her, whereas Ram Ram, like, you're not playing from far away anyway versus Sheik if she's playing right here. So the Ram Ram isn't as useful as just Mega Watt mashing everywhere, I think. True. I, I remember early on that you said that this was a pretty annoying matchup, so I, like, yeah. I, I'm, it, I'm gl glad to hear the updates. That was smart. I like that get out of the corner option there. Still definitely Sheik's favorite and probably Mimin's worst matchup. But, like, Mimin's worst matchup is, like, a hard minus one. Maybe minus two. For Brian. That's some confidence. That, that, that's that's some deep confidence in the matchup spread right there. I can't wait to see this character offline. But I mean, <laughs> yeah, no, no, you, you, you are excited to see the results, but very no, I'll, scared I'll, to actually I, see the character. I, I like see. I like seeing. Hey, look, it's ultimate offline right now. Check. Also, see, yeah, speaking of offline, it's, yeah, this is why we want offline. Look, look at this slideshow right here. Can we get it back, please? All right, so we're gonna wait a second here as they get things under under wraps. We're waiting for that to clear up. Yo, while we're waiting for that to clear up, I'm just gonna say, guys. We had over 1,500 viewers for a little bit during the last set. If you guys you know, want to support the stream, you can always follow any of our support a lot. You can always sub. Helps me a lot for making a living, find this content, whatever. I'm back to the match. Nice read on the jump aerial. Yeah, good job. I like it. You know, just it, just stay grounded. Stay like jumping against Sheik is where you're gonna get into trouble. So it's like keep it like keeping himself grounded and going for a lot of these dash attacks and stuff and retreating with all these mega watch shots. I like it. He's not letting Sharp get in uh, because Sheik's gonna expose you. Ooh, Once they do, dope. that was <laughs> excellent coverage by Sharp. Absolutely phenomenal right there. Even game. That's the thing with this matchup, right? Like. You know, Mimi can't read cheese out Sheik with edge guards. It has to be like other cheesy things. But mm -hmm. she gets so many edge guards on Mimin that it's definitely a problem. Because I think I feel like Mimin, one of the biggest things is that most characters can't avoid the edge guard versus most characters, even like the yeah. Palatinas, the pits, whatever, just the, the, the high off stage. Yeah, this is actually one of the few matchups where Min Min actually kind of needs to win in center stage. Uh, because you're right, outside of catching it. the- Oh, that yet? Yeah, you're dead! <laughs> he oh, he messed up, he oh, dropped no. it. He misses the back air, that's enormous for time here. Because <laughs> if that caught, he was dead. Yep. Oh god, free punish? Oh, if he did Megawatt, that could maybe... Maybe not kill, but a lot more damage. Okay, and right now just smart. a lot of patient. Yeah, Sharp, Sharp plays, plays for staying two grounded seconds. too. He knows that hey, when center stage is there, you're dead. You're yep, dead. Yep. That's it. You can only swing so many times off stage before you get caught by needles. Yep. Time gear needs to go really low to avoid the needles, because otherwise he's just gonna catch everything he's doing. So as I said, if you know, if Sharp's putting a lot of pressure on off stage Mimin, he doesn't have time to go low. Yeah, and, and that's that's so bad for Min Min, because Min Min needs to rely on being able to put that big hitbox out there so they can get, like, that free low recovery. Oh, bad DI in the up Gets a kill off that. Definitely should not have. Yeah, that's enormous for, uh, I, I think you like, he caught Sharp in a DI mix up there. He's probably holding in, assuming he was going to get thrown off stage. So, like, would he even have died if he held out there? Uh, no, he only died because he DI'd in. That was not kill percent yet. Yeah, I, th I think that he got mixed up on fourth throw. They're not anticipating the up throw, so Sharp not going to fall for that again in the future, I'm sure. But Time Gear's got to be feeling good about that because it's all of a sudden an even game. Yeah, right? I mean, even game versus Mimmin is not a fun game. She starts the game in advanced no. state after all, right? <laughs> like you said, I, it's the best way to describe her. You start off you start off already behind. Oh, oh no! Oh, 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 okay. oh yeah, so like this? Goes to platform. These platforms are so big for Mimi to escape disadvantage in this kind of matchup. Like, FD, for example, for Sheik, I think it's just awful. But, like, PS2 is actually super good for Mimi. <gasps> okay, nope, okay still got jump, but that's it. I actually think if he went a little bit lower, he could have had the angle to make it back. I, I, but I'm not entirely sure. That was... Yeah, I do think if he went lower, he could have made that back with the up B. So, a little bit too early there. Unfortunate. But you know what? Sharp was in a good position to edge guard anyway, so he wasn't guaranteed to live for anything. Yeah, that's a giant pain in the ass, because you're sitting there like, okay, when when do I actually jump? Because Sharp can follow you the entire way and basically react to your jump. You have to throw out that, you have to just change up your timing on when you want to use your forward air to, so, so you can pressure him. Mm -hmm. But even, even then, it's like, okay, well, if you happen to trade, Sharp wins. Like, you're, you're in such a losing situation there. The fact that Time Gear has even made it back one time before is, like, 
testament enough. I also don't think that we see FD either. Uh, after what you pointed out, like I, I, I don't think that Time Gear will ever let Sharp get FD just because of the threat of the sheep. Yeah, yeah. Like, and it's only a really good Mimmon stage too. This is Smashville once again. Like, I was talking about this before. I don't like this stage generally, but I guess more Mimmon players are really starting to like this stage. So. Because she covers the entire stage with hitboxes, and as long as she's not getting cornered, I think it's risky if she's getting cornered, she can't play the game. But if she can hold the center stage, like right here actually, the platform control is real hard to get past. Yeah, I was about to say, I wonder if that has anything to do with the fact that against zone breaker characters like Sheik, normally one of the things that they could thrive on on CFPS2, if they happen to catch you on when you're trying to throw out a forward air, is get you in center stage. They can fall hop in and you're forced to either A, up smash, or B, retreat. With the platform here, it's like, okay, now they have to commit through it, or I can at least retreat to it and cover it a bit better. Like, it's a smaller stage, but I, I could see the logic behind it. One thing I want to see, actually, from uh, time here, is using Flower Smash to 2-frame. I've started using that over Ram Ram, because it mm -hmm. has a really nice hitbox, and it punches through, like, hitbox recoveries. And I just noticed it's actually really good for 2-framing, and it kills on, like, Ram Ram. This is a little optimization they could definitely use for Sheik's recovery. Oh my god, he just punched through, kicked through a diamond cutter. He said, bro, you ain't, I I'll play this game with chicken, because you ain't pressing that button. You think I'm scared? Run them hands, run that fade, I don't give a damn. <laughs> I mean, you can't do it too often, because because he will definitely get punished, but I, I like I like it. I like Time Gear's changeup, because you need to get into Sharp's head, otherwise he's going to keep pushing off stage like that. Okay, I'm even game again with that said, you know, Sharp has fine opening the platform there. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Doesn't get chased there. And I guess the air dodge away from the platform is harder to keep the copy in those situations. That's pretty yeah, good. like, as long as if, if Sharp reacts to it, it drops down there, drops down forward air, pushes you off stage. But air dodging in towards Sharp's position definitely would have led like to a lot more damage. That was good. That was good. Like, uh oh, uh oh, damage uh -oh, awareness. Uh oh, uh -oh. Yep. Uh -oh. yeah, that's uh... man. Yo, Sharp Sheik is looking nice right now. Damn, that was good. Look, and there's a reason why. I know a lot of people miss the moving platform on Smashville, but just remember, it was called Sheikville for a reason. <laughs> Sharp is doing that without the moving platform. Oh my god, yeah, Smash for Sheikville. I played Rose, so I didn't have to experience the pain, but for I everyone else, so damn, I also so. felt the pain. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I banned that. It's like, oh, no, you, you're uh -uh. right. You didn't get to play Smash 4 vs. Lob characters anyway. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> We're stubborn as <laughs> We're stubborn as hell, though. You guys, you guys are. You have weight means. You just stick through the night. Watch press a part of it and connect. Oh, jump over. Like oh, no. Combos, Sharp does not jump over. We expected a second attack from the time. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, he That's Sharp it. waited for it, too. Sharp knew he was adjusting to the time frame. Knew he was going to do it. Caught him off. Yep. Like, like it, it, recovery. there we go. That's what sucks. It like whenever you're in a matchup where somebody's win con literally is just to hit you once off stage, who's good at pushing you off stage. That's a terrible matchup off the rip. Like people always like to make the joke about, you know, bad recovery automatically bad, right? You could reference cloud and all that stuff too. But in this matchup, it, it, it shows its true colors. Mhm. Mm so like, this character is good, but show. Sharp can play with you. I wonder, uh, I mean, I wouldn't want to see Time Gear go Joker. I don't think I'd be able to handle it, but man, I don't know. I, I don't know what Time Gear needs to do to win because it feels like he plays the neutral ball enough. He makes that one mistake every time he loses. We're seeing Ram Ram up star instead of Megawatts. That's already a complete shift in play style. For Maybe a second, how fast the frame did will help versus Sheik's overwhelming nature, but now the hitboxes aren't powerful enough to like deter Sharp from taking risks. Yeah, I think that, I think it's just mostly the fa the fast hitbox thing to try and box a bit. I was gonna say at first I thought maybe Town City might be a like a solid idea because you have a slightly different approach. You can maybe go for higher recoveries to try and camp uh, away. But then I remember you get the FD layout, so that wouldn't help at all. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, like th this 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 does seem like a very difficult thing for him to deal with, and I see why you're saying this is definitely one of the worst matchups for him when to actually fight. Yeah, like I, I think it's legit the worst, but. Eh, anyway, um, maybe oh, now okay, pick, but you know, Sharp does get two bans, and this is a six-stage rule set, so you can't go Battlefield if Sharp bans, I'm assuming he would. True, yeah, because that's definitely one of the better, like, you get the escape options, you get the, like, to deal with a little bit more combo damage, but mostly just having different landing options against Sharp. So, forcing it pretty much just here to Smash Build to try and mix it up. Sharp's already figured out Time Gear's center stage game plan. 
Like, honestly, he needs to get some cheese, but Sharp isn't letting him get it at all because Sharp is playing on fire. Yep. Like, if Mimic can't press buttons fast enough versus this if she's not using... I think a big thing also is Time Bear's not using the Dragon much. He's just trying to use Megalot. But, like, you need Dragon. Dragon is such a good tool versus these fast characters because it has a lot of range. It has good frame hit as well. And the damage on hit is okay. You can be comfortable with it, but even then, just getting hits with Mimic, like, that's fine. You'll get spots anyway on stuff. So yeah. Yeah. I, I, like I agree. Like you just you just need to get the damage where you can. And now you're in a potential losing position again. You have to stay oh, no! jumping. Even so you had to wait forever because Sharp already covered the like optimal jump distance with the early back air. So he's forced to go low anyways. Damn it, just like that, we we might be seeing a three this was so many thrills in this top eight. This is so different than what we're used to. Yeah, well, we gotta yeah, remember, like I said, Wadi was on a. Wadi was literally submitting his time to Games Done Quick earlier, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah the Wadi <laughs> practiced with me, and, you know, people always have to practice with me, they just kind of win tournaments and do well. It just, I, for some reason, I make people play <laughs> at their best. It's cool. I think it says you force people to understand what true defense is. Hey, but Sharp, <laughs> oh, Sharp is looking primed and ready for the run back. Good coverage with that up smash, though. Time Gear not trying to be done yet. Still has one stock, could still potentially get themselves on the board if they could somehow hit? figure out Sharp. Okay. It was like behind him. <laughs> I, I like to watch this matchup. It's kind of like Time Gear is just like trying to run away as best as he can and just running around the entire map and Sharp's just chasing him. Yeah. It's actually cat and mouse. What a terrible ma like what a terrible time playing the game when you're literally running for the entire match it makes it difficult especially when you don't have really fast options against a character like this which uh, is such a difference it? oh no nope. no you still had us to jump still in it one thing that's hard for Sheik to deal with megawatt is that megawatt will punch through Sheik's aerials because it's so powerful so you mm -hmm. have to respect it unlike say dragon or rampart it's oh, again yeah, that's it yeah. every he just three times he couldn't make it back like and that's that's just, why in this matchup, I do not play Min Min right now. I'm trying to get better with it. <laughs> I see. I see what 100% why. Uh, it makes total sense. The character forces you in terrible disadvantage, especially when they get you early percents off stage. Because even though you're not at KO percent normally, all you need is to get one hit, and that tether ain't making it that far. So that 